Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of The War Room. We're going to make it a cavalry specific episode. We're going to just watch a lot of different cavalry aspects here and showcase them to you guys. So stay tuned for today's episode. So yes, we're going to be covering today a bit of cavalry, right? Since we like a bit of cavalry and you guys do enjoy it. And as you can see, BXS is showcasing the capabilities potentially of what you could do, right? We're not going to go into some crazy fighting, but this was a little bit of a teaser about Dedica on the live stream. And what you can get if you've got enough alliance members online, obviously, as you can see, it generate this massive, <laughs> absolute huge murder ball here. And it is always threatened in this positioning, right? And you're able to attack into this unit group here. But the really cool thing that you're going to notice here is these flying units. These flying units actually being on top of the hill here is stopping this from happening. Because again, if these guys go and want to, they can literally just start attacking straight down onto the line here as you can see nice and easy illustration so if these calves want to go in they're going to take a bunch of damage right but it's the whole idea which i want to showcase today and it's going to be a nice short episode compared to all the crazy long ones we've been going for so if you want something a little bit shorter this might be up your alleyway right so here again you're going to have a different amount of units you can see there's a majority are wolf riders or they are the knights. You don't really see many of the other units here because the spring wardens ranged on flying units are more tailored better for actual big open field combat and single target or I should say single use if you're going to use them to farm kill, right? So really, really good, um, should I say unit to use. But you can see here BXS and VXR are bringing more to this to threat a, a potential attack on this position but that's going to be it for this uh, um, clip we're going to move on to another clip showcasing some more cavalry gameplay as well as talking about how cool you can technically use this cavalry as a threat right because here as you can notice as we redraw these lines again for you you have such a fast attack that you can always punish potentially the stragglers and that's what this is very very good at capable of doing so again just showcasing all the lines for you guys so you can see nice and easy the ability of these flying units right here being able to attack however they want on this march right so back and forth so let's go on to the next clip to do with some cavalry Hello, so here we are. We're going to watch some different alliances here. We are seeing Jedi fight in here. And the thing is with Jedi when they are fighting on, I believe, the server 33, if my memory is correct there, you're going to see a load of different cavalry units. And we're actually going to try and watch Naughty Pappy here because Naughty Pappy is rocking cavalry with that Emery's. And you can see him immediately use it more as a, what I would call a peeling unit. And what that is, it's a very, very specific term from League of Legends where you're using your unit to basically protect and defend the ranged line, right? And you're basically becoming a backup unit. So you saw Naughty Pappy immediately go straight into the defensive position. And once he's done that defensive duty as a cavalry player, he's now moving forward to chase down these targets. So it's a nice, easy clip to follow here. So we're gonna watch it again in a moment. But you're gonna be able to see again, Naughty Pappy coming in and protecting right now from the middle, coming straight down, protecting these guys from Slank, who was going for that attack, right? So really, really good footage of showcasing some cavalry gameplay here from Jedi. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode so far. You can see as well all the cavalry units afterwards, like Augustine, that were helping out and getting that surround bonus. And you think if you're using Emery's surrounded a unit, you're gonna gain that extra damage. So it's very, very important for that skill for trigger. So let's go on again, let's move on to the next clip. Nice short clips, these this is gonna be a nice easy episode. Again, time stamped all the way through. So if you've enjoyed it so far, smash that like, comment and subscribe to the channel. 
and here we are. This is going to be the finale clip that we're going to watch. And you can see already why I love this clip. Again, Jedi and DX fighting here against BXS in the server 33. And you're going to be able to see some insane gameplay here from Cavalry and the power of having multiple cavalry units all fighting together because you can see here on the screen already at least 10 plus cavalry units all swarming from the Jedi and DX members here using that skill damage and artifact triggers to absolute obliterate a AoE murder ball from that BS x alliance and this is a really cool thing that i wanted to just watch and showcase for you guys the potential again of cavalry and this is what this whole episode is about showing the potential of what you could potentially be doing in the future and again if you're thinking of playing cavalry you've got to think we haven't got those two new heroes yet so you've got to think patch 1.018 or maybe 19 who knows there's going to be two new heroes and hopefully both of them are cavalry. Maybe an epic one legendary or two legendaries of the field generous for you like they have with the archers. And that will grant you more marchers to use in the open field. So this is giving you guys that little bit of an insight of what cavalry is being used for currently and how much damage these guys are pumping out with them using as you can see backsheet emery's or emery's backsheet it doesn't really matter depending on what you do prefer as well as obviously seeing sometimes fear in that lineup with the other ranged cavalry so i hope you enjoyed today's video we're going to just let this little bit of gameplay play out again so you can see all the artifact damage in the purple numbers fling off with all sorts of different damage from them using the Royal Punishment and Sword Offs, for example, right? So if you've learned to something and you've enjoyed just cavalry today, a little bit of cavalry specific stuff, so we can see how effective and how brutal they are. And if you enjoyed this nice, free flowing learning of today's lesson, smash a like, comment, and subscribe. You know, like always, I hope you've enjoyed my content. We're here to try and teach you guys and showcase some creativity and educational purposes, as you can imagine, from PvP combat, as well as PvE and any other sort of guide that is hero, behemoths, and event base. So with all that said, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay sneaky, peace out.